So hey friends, in the last video we learned how to create a JWT token and return it when the user is successfully logged in. So in this uh, tutorial we will learn how to create a protected endpoint that will only return a response if the user has a valid JWT token and he sends that uh, token in, in the request. So one, la one thing that I forgot to do in the last video was to set an expiration time to JWT token. So we can do that after claims we can do with expiration with expire sat and we can um, just set the expiration date what we created above and now I have changed it to 600,000 milliseconds uh, plus the, the current time in milliseconds which will be around 10 times and this has to be a date so that's it and now here we will create another function uh, which will be verify jwt token and this will return a jwt verifier so similar to the previous one what we will do is we'll do jwt dot require and here first we will tell what the algorithm is and we will use the same um, algorithm hmac 256 and one thing we will do is we will move all these on top so we can utilize them in the verify jwt token method as well and then similarly we will pass the audience issuer and we will build it. So now this will return the JWT verifier. And now we will go back to our applications.kt and here where we ins installed our authentication plugin, we will call uh, a verifier method. So this plugin gives us some handy methods. One of them is verifier. And here what we will do is we'll use our token manager, which we don't have here right now. So what we will do is we will create our config here. Uh, so, so we have done all this in the previous video as well. These are just repetitive steps. And then we will create a token manager and pass our config and use the token manager dot verify JWT token. So the next step is to basically assign the real. So we'll assign the real and we'll read it from our configuration file. So we'll do property real get string. And the third step is basically to validate the token. So we'll call the validate here and this this is a closure so it will give us uh, a JWT credential as in the callback and we will use it to verify the payload whether we are receiving the payload or not so we will do JWT credential dot payload and we can read the claims here so we will be checking only one claim you can check both claims so we'll just check a username convert it to string and see is not empty if this is not empty then we will create a JWT principle so JWT in the JWT principle we will pass the payload and otherwise we will return null. <clears throat> so now after this we will go to our authentication router and create a new endpoint here. So to create a protected endpoint we have to use um, authentication uh, block and in this one we will create a get endpoint which will be marked as slash me and here we will uh, read the principle here so similar to how we read the body we can read the principle using the uh, the call object so we'll do call dot principle and this is of type JWT principle. And now we will read the username principle and read the claim username as. 
string and we will read the user id as well and now we will return these things in the response and now we will run our server so this will be user id and we will run our server we are seeing some errors that conflicting feature is already installed so why we are uh, seeing this error is because we have to um, arrange these features in a certain manner so the first thing that we have to do is first we have to install authentication before installing any other feature and then we have to install content negotiation and then configure the routes so let's try running this again and now everything seems to be running we will go to our uh, postman we will log in so we are getting the token successfully and now we will create a new endpoint so we'll just duplicate this tab change it to me and this will be a get endpoint so let's try making a request now so you see it's giving a 500 internal error and you can see what the error is so this is returning null so what we have to do is we have to pass authorization and the token here So you saw when we made this request we got a 500 internal error so the mistake was it's not authentication it's authenticate so let's try rerunning our server now and make the request again and now you can see that it's reading it but it's not reading the id so let's see why uh, It's the user ID. Oh, so the ID was integer, so we have to do as end. So let's rerun it again. And now make a request. And now you can see that we have the email and the ID. So let's create a new user. Log in with the new user. Use its token. And now you can see the information of the new user so that's it in this video in the next video we will start to change our notes api into using this authenticate and uh, only relate the notes to a particular user and fetch the one that is logged in so thank you very much